Hi everybody. This week's Torah portion is going to be Bahar Bechukotai, a double Torah portion. And in so doing, we're going to align ourselves with the Torah readings that have been taking place in Israel as well. We're all going to be in sync now. So whether you're in Israel or here in America or watching from South Africa, I want to ask you a question. When I say Baltimore, what comes to mind? I'd love to think the words Charm City, but I think it's more likely Crime City. Baltimore, unfortunately, is noted for the violence on its streets. So what can we do about it? Well, it depends. It depends upon this week's Torah portion and a Torah portion we are going to be reading later on in the year, the Torah portion of Kitavo. In this week's Torah portion, we find the Tochacha, a series of curses that we are told will afflict the Jewish people unless we follow the path of God. The Tochacha appears once again in Kitavo in Deuteronomy, also with the threat of retribution for not being responsible for our actions. But our sages noted a unique difference between the Tochacha in this week's Torah portion and the one in Kitavo. This week's is in the plural, speaking to the collective people. The one in Devarim is in the singular, speaking to the individual. There's a lesson here. Responsibility has to be taken by every person as an individual and as part of a collective group. How are we going to make our city streets safer and better? Individuals have to take responsibility. The African American community has to be aware of the fact that there is crime that they have to do something about. The absentee father, the social issues that exist in their community. But we make a big mistake if we think it's only their responsibility because the Torah in this week said reminds us that there's a collective responsibility. Many of us living in the suburbs here in Baltimore make believe the city doesn't exist. I once asked the children in our Bar Mitzvah class when we were having riots in the streets of Baltimore if they knew where the Sandtown neighborhood was. None of them knew, despite the fact that many of their parents had grown up there. They do know where Towson Mall is, even though Sandtown with the riots is closer to home. We have to learn that we are all responsible, individually and collectively. Interestingly enough, the collective responsibility is read in this week's Torah portion, which comes before Shavuot. Shavuos, we said, na'aseh v'nishma, we will do and we will listen, collective. The other tochacha in the singular comes before Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, we stand before God as an individual. This is a time of year to think collectively. Are we doing our share to make our city, to make our country, to make our world a better place? Shabbat Shalom.